Alright guys, welcome back to the Ruler of Sadness Recycled Edition with more Mega Man 3 Ridley X Hack 1. So we're gonna defeat Gemini Man and Needle Man. And more than likely I'll play at least one of the four extra levels that come after this. Okay, for some reason it didn't save my Baron config, which should have. So I have to like deal with the Baron config that comes by default. Even though it's using different keys from the keyboard, I'm not completely used to it. I don't know why. How I survived that, re really. Now, the rewind button is the same, so no complaints in that regard. I could just stop the episode and, and, and reconfigure the buttons, but I guess I'm sort of getting used to this. So instead of C and X keys for... for jumping and shooting, I'm using D for jumping and C for shooting. Vertiga, uh, vertical pattern uh, configuration. Okay, this is the one Protoman encounter in which you don't battle him. Okay, it's a mystery tank. No, the mystery tank is actually a different one. It has an M on it. And it replenishes you both health and weapon energy. Okay, I guess if I destroy all the ones out there, I will be able to get something else? No. Not quite. Counts as a shortcut, I don't know. It's actually easier doing it this way, if you ask me. Okay. I'm actually having trouble with this one just because of the new button config. But these ones I can kill from a distance, no problem. Oh man. I have practically full health at this point, so now I do. I was expecting this guy for some reason. This mini boss that I have been dealing with. Dude. Jump shooting in place is actually more difficult than you think. Having a, a vinyl layout, a, a vertical vinyl layout. It's so difficult. More than you think. So these tanks cannot give you E tanks, right? They can give you. Uh, Basically lives and, and health, those sort of things. So an extra life is basically the best you can actually hope for from those uh, red tanks. Another life, I don't know if I want it really. I pretty much maxed out. I don't think I'll regret that decision. Yeah, I can use Rush Marine here, but honestly, I think it's sort of faster just doing it old school way. Jumping around and such. I have to say, this is probably the easiest level yet in the game. You probably noticed in, in the previous two episodes, the previous six stages I went through. Okay, this one is a joke, I can kill from a distance. Oh no, I cannot. I have to get closer in order to activate the weak point. Unless I was shooting at the wrong part all along. I was shooting at the wrong 
spot all along. Okay, but yeah, my, my point stands. This has been clearly the easiest level in the entire game so far. Why did I so? Why did I say that? Because I didn't lose all of my health practically at the beginning of the stage. Yeah, difficulty-wise, this is not just like the Me Me the original Mega Man 3, which is like a wrong concept that I had at the beginning with dealing with these hacks. Basically dealing with alternate ways of playing Mega Man 3, keeping the same difficulty. No, it's not the same difficulty. It's actually harder. This requires you to actually have some experience playing Mega Man 3 in order to play through this without really struggling too much. Last Robot Master, Needleman. Oh yeah, okay, this is... Wait, Strike Man, I think it was? That, that boss from Mega Man 10? It, it looks like the stage from that one guy. And now that I see this, actually I'm pretty sure I already played this, this hack before in some series. Can't remember which one, to be honest. I guess I will have to find out by myself uh, searching for my old videos and such. But a replay of this really doesn't hurt. Okay, now I maxed out in lives. So I have two missions for this, uh, you know, for uh, the end of this video, or, or basically when I'm finished recording this video and before doing the next one, which will be the last one of my current session. Two missions, two work homeworks. First one, find out if I really actually recorded this hack in the past or not. And second, change my button config. I'm gonna ignore this guy. If I try to kill him, I will die in the process. Okay, I was wondering if these platforms actually fail. Platforms which actually look more like... Uh, flower pots. These guys, I don't know if I want to deal with them. I do not, but I have to uh, dodge the spikes. Okay, some weird spike killed me. Oh, alright, the ceiling killed me. Are there hidden spikes? No, there aren't. So I got killed by nothingness. E-Tank, I'm so taking it, right at the end of the level. So they didn't give me Rush Jet until I defeated Needleman. Okay, my dog actually wants out of the room because my brother just got from work. He just got back from work and my dog, that usually spends time with me when I'm recording some videos, wants to say hello to him, okay. The color suddenly changed. Uh, is it actually safe to kill this guy without taking too much damage? What was the weakness again? Gemini. It's kind of random. I'd rather take the death, I have too many lives. I was close. I was one shot away, literally. Yeah, I feel like the levels have been played in the order in which I've been playing them have become longer and longer. Some levels took me really little time to, to go through, and some others took really long. What I'm seeing here is basically I don't see much of a balance in, in length. Difficulty wise, it's all of the levels have been equally tough except for Jimmy Night Man. Okay. So, uh going for Shadow Man first. 
Well, Shadowman's stage redone. I guess in terms of appearance, oh, they do look completely different. This was some sort of a castle-looking thing, and now I don't know it has a Metroid world look to it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, this actually is asking complete precision in in, in the weapon choice, including the use of. Rush. Yeah, this looks like some sort of combination of Mario Blocks and Metroid. Wait. Okay, it, it was either Joker Blocks or it's forcing me to use Rush yet. Wait. Oh, I saw the. the Cloud platforms from Snake Man stage coming out of from below. Okay, when are they supposed to appear? Don't tell me I trigger them. I must have glitched it out, otherwise I don't see any other explanation. Okay, what I'm gonna do is see if I can get some health back out of this. For example here, see? Okay, I will have to use Rush Jet. There we go. Yeah, see? These cloud platforms, platforms do appear. Randomly. But apparently here it is Highly encouraged to, to use the rush jet, otherwise they put it they wouldn't put that weapon energy right in the middle. I think. Even though yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to keep wasting that. Okay, at least they granted me some health back. I remember in this uh extra levels You have to fight Mega Man 2 bosses with a different sprite. I always forget how this guy is called. Darkman, I think these are these special robots are called. And honestly, guys, I never, never remember the weaknesses for this Mega Man 2 fights. I never remember them. So I always have to try weapon by weapon. Sometimes I do guess. For example, now, I guessed. Well, I know that, for example, Spark is useful against um, Bubble Man. Because electricity wins against water. Pokemon logic, maybe. Can call it like that. I'd rather die here. So do what you gotta do. And I know I'm getting my checkpoint right here. I pretty much maxed out in life, so I can take a few deaths. Okay, I've been able to manage all things considered in this particular episode with, with this whole bottom config mess. I've been able to handle it well. Which makes me think I would have done actually better if I kept the same config. Or maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, I need to refill my jet. Something tells me I will have to use it. I know, that's the end. I don't know if it is an isolated phenomenon, but I think... I, I mean... It doesn't happen only in this level, but I feel so. I feel that some of the previous levels I played, it's like the second half was actually shorter and easier than the first part. The first part of the levels. 
I don't know, it's probably just me, or some psychological trick. Well, here we don't have a water weapon per se, so I don't know which is the real weakness to this guy. No, not Gemini. What about the Harnackle? No Harnackle. Not Magnet. Needle was good against the previous guy, not this one. Snake, maybe? No, Snake is not the one. Spark? No. Oh, please, don't tell me it's gonna be top. Or Shadow that pretty much have no range. It is Shadow. This is not a hard boss. Hitman was actually an easy boss. So I guess I have to like take it easy. Don't spam. That's not gonna work. One shot at a time. And you win. Okay, that's gonna do it for today. Obviously, in the next episode, I will do these remaining levels here on this second part to Mega Man 3, really X Hack 1. Thank you for watching.